It was a BEA beautiful day for golf today. As the 92nd Birchmont rolled on, both the men's and women's championships fields continued match play with the women in their semifinal matchups and the men in their quarterfinals. Starting with the men, par 311, Jim Foss, seven up on Matt Norby. Foss chipping from just off the green. He hits the pin, he bogey to have the hole, stay seven up, and then going on to defeat Norby, eight and six. Then on 12, former BSU Beaver Chris Kerb sticks his second shot from the fairway. Within 15 feet of the cup, he'd leave his birdie putt just short of the hole to walk away with par. Moved to three up and beat Toby Palmasino four and three. On to 16, par four, Andrew Israelson with his second shot from the fairway gets the bounce and rolls it within 10 feet of the cup. He then step up and sink the birdie putt to win the hole and the match three and two over Matt Scarperud and in that other matchup on the day, Van Holmgren taking down Johnny Larson in 19 holes. We caught up with a couple of the men's players right after their round. Here they are. I'm pretty excited. You know, my uh, my dad's won this tournament a couple times, and I've always kind of cherished that moment. And I'm happy I made it this far, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. Tough tournament, tough week of golf, and just to hold it together for that many days, five, six days, it's it's tough but when you get there it's that's the reward and you just enjoy it along the way and those tea times tomorrow chris curb versus andrew israelson and jim foss versus van holgram they will tee off at 7 50 in the morning and moving on women's side of things par 412 emily israelson putting for birdie just off the green and she rolls it within a couple feet she would pick up for par to win the hole and her match defeating missy tabbery seven and six she's off to the finals in the other matchup, Haley Tillette facing Morgan Williams on 16, one down. Tillette sticks her second shot within 15 feet. She would end up two putting for par to square up the match and they'd need extra holes in this one. On that extra hole, Williams putting for par from just off the collar, leaves it just inches short. She would pick up for bogey to win the hole and win the match in 19 holes. She's headed to the finals as well. Here are Williams and Israelson. I'm really excited. I did something I've never done before, and I haven't played in the Birch, so to go this far for not playing in a while is pretty fun. I think I'm going to have to play better than I have all week and um, sharpen up my short game. Emily's a great player, and I've played with her a number of times, so I think we're just going to have fun and see what happens. I'm pretty excited. I get to play golf for one more day, and it um, looks to be nice, so yeah, I'm excited to be here. If I just play how I have all week, um, just consistent around the greens especially, I think I can post a low round and I think I can possibly win it. And Morgan Williams and Emily Israelson, they'll tee off at 12.45 p.m. on T1 over there at Bemidji Town & Country Club for the Women's Championship. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.